Hello, I'm Lizelle Sambury and welcome to this Living Like My Main Character for a Day video. If you didn't know, I'm the author of Blood Like Magic. It's about a teenage girl who is given the impossible task of either killing her first love or losing her family's magic forever. Um, and it's set in a near future Toronto. It follows a family of black witches. I am currently in Toronto, hence why if you watch my regular videos, this is why the background <laughs> is different and the lighting and all of that. So I'm currently in Toronto. So I thought it would be really fun to live like my main character for a day. And today, August 9th, is the day when the sequel to Blood Like Magic, Blood Like Fate is out. Yay! So Blood Like Fate is out today and so I thought this would be a fun way to like celebrate the book um, by doing this living like my main character for a day. So this one is like the Blood Like Magic edition. So it's going to be based on who Voya Thomas, who's the main character, it, who she is as a character in the first book. Um, and then I'll do like a Blood Like Fate edition down the line, maybe for the Blood Like Fate um, paperback release. So this is the Blood Like Magic edition, but it doesn't contain any spoilers. So don't worry if you haven't read Blood Like Magic yet, <laughs> you will not be spoiled for it. Um, but you'll get a taste of who the main character is and the stuff she's got going on in her life. So I've essentially notched out different parts of the Blood Like Magic book and things that uh, Voya is doing, and I am going to do those things or emulate or <laughs> express those things in a way. So that's what this day is going to be like. It's going to be over 24 hours, just because you'll see once we get to the next clip that some things I had to do at certain times and so it just made sense to do 24 hours so it's gonna be 24 hours of me living like my main character Voya Thomas so let's go ahead and get started there's something about lounging in a bath of blood that makes me want to stay until my fingers shrivel enough to show the outlines of my bones So we're kicking off this living like my main character for a day video by starting in the bathroom. Uh, there's a very important reason for this. So in Blood Like Magic, in the beginning chapter, we open with Voya, who is the main character, in a bath of blood. Um, I'm obviously not going to bathe in blood. If you thought I was going to, I don't know what that says about me what that says about you, <laughs> but that's not what I'm going to do. But I got these bath bombs. They're like red room bath bombs, which is like, a, you know, it's a, what is it called? It's a thing from The Shining, but they're red. So I'm hoping that these will make the bath very red, um, like blood. And so we'll get that effect without having to actually do that. So I'll go ahead and uh, yeah, I'll show you how the bath bomb unfolds. And this will be the first step of uh, living like my main character, Roy Thomas. We'll start with that blood of bath and then uh, we'll continue on the rest tomorrow. I wanted to do this first because, well, because it appears first in the book. That's why I wanted to do it first. And I was not going to wake up in the morning and take a bath because that seemed weird to me. I don't know. Do people take morning baths? That seemed really strange to me. So I was like, I have to have a bath at night. So I'm doing it now. And that's why this is over 24 hours instead of like a full day because I'm not going to take a bath in the morning. So let's go ahead and uh, see how this turns out. Content warning for a semi-realistic looking bloodbath. Please skip to 0546 to avoid. I'm Steve Lacey, 
you put in my heart on a low five beat. I don't know how to play guitar, but the ladies love Mars and this little shawty love me. I could drop the drums to see you fly back and forth and through the sky. But I'd rather go back to the things I know where the sun shines down and the night's not cold. Cause you are playing with my heart. I don't know why. Yo, man. He is not the guy for you. We know it's true. You can do so much better. So come on. I need to take the risk to keep our magic flowing. Or maybe Granny's telling me that I shouldn't take the risk because if I fail, we'll lose everything. Okay, so here we are in the kitchen. <laughs> so we've done the blood bath, blood bath. And so now it's the morning time and I'm going to go right on next to the next uh, Voya Thomas like activity. So in Blood Like Magic, Voya's family, they own a beauty supply business. So they make their own like hair creams and like face serums and all sorts of beauty products. That is the family business. That is how they mostly make their money. And so Voya, as a member of the family, contributes to this business. She helps out her grandmother, uh, aka Granny, with running that business. And so I thought what I should do is I should make a beauty product, like I should do a DIY beauty product sort of thing. And so what I've done <laughs> is I have purchased some uh, coconut oil and some Kool-Aid. And apparently this is a very easy way to make like a tinted lip balm. Um, so I've got also some like little lip balm canisters. So I'm going to try my hand at making that, which is good because I am running out of my own lip balm. And so I do need more. So I'm very much hoping this works. And uh, yeah, this will be the second Voya activity for the day. Texting back a You can take a rest, girl You can let your head down You can read to me if you really wanted to You can take a rest, girl You can let your head down Can you kill me softly? Won't you? Won't you? I'm in the bathroom now because I feel that it is important that I try these out to see like if the color <laughs> comes off or anything like that. So bear with me. I'm just like holding the camera out like this. So I'm going to try these out and uh, share that with you because I feel like Foya would test the product to make sure everything worked. Um, and she, in fact, uses all of those products herself. So it just makes sense to try it out. Okay, I actually don't think this angle is bad. So I think I can do it this way. It's a very small tripod. So uh, should I try the green one first? I can't, okay, let's, I have to smell them because the red and the pink came out really similar, but I'm pretty sure this is the red one, which was black cherry. Okay, here we go. This is the test. Texture wise, it is a little bit gritty, but since it's a lip balm, I feel like that just like, you know, it's an exfoliation effect. Okay. Um, I mean, I can taste it. Oh my God, it's sour. So that's why I had to add sugar, add sugar because apparently <laughs> regular Kool-Aid is like pretty dang sour without sugar. So I have the mirror above me. That's why I'm looking ahead here. Yeah, it came out pretty clear, which I'm happy with because like, I don't know that I need tinted lip balm all the time, but it came out pretty clear. So that's this one, the red one. 
I'm getting a little. Oh, it stings. Hey, why does it sting? <laughs> it like kind of burns. <sighs> yeah, this one stings a lot. It stings. Some of these sting. Like, I don't think they're supposed to, but some of these like burn. Um, so yeah, maybe the, if funny enough, the lemon lime didn't burn and I would think that one would. This is the pink lemonade. It does burn. Um, black cherry is fine. And that aqua fresca one burns. So, uh, take care which width of these you decide to, uh, do if you decide to do this yourself. Uh, some of them, some of them burn. So if I were to rate myself based on my, uh, beauty product creation, I don't know that I'd get top marks. I think Granny would be mad at me, um, <laughs> in Warrior's position, but, uh, there we go. We gave it a try. We gave it a try. Um, and on to the next. Stamped on my back is a piece that represents my culture and family, drawn by a boy who I'm supposed to kill in their name. Hello. So uh, the next boy themed activity has technically happened, but I will tell you about it. So the background the book connection is there is a scene in the book where Voya goes to see Luke who is love interest in the book he's also the boy she has to kill to save her family's magic um so she goes to visit him at this uh like arts collective and what he does is that on the side as a hobby he does fade ink so because this book is set in the future I invented this thing called fade ink which is like a a completely non-permanent tattoo doesn't hurt or anything like that um, and essentially it fades over time so it completely fades out so any fading tattoo you get is temporary fine for all ages that sort of thing and so he does this um, and so he does a one of these tattoos on Voya and so I got a tattoo <laughs> Not just for the purposes of this video, I was already going to get it. And this is really why I came to Toronto to get this tattoo done. Um, but yeah, I got a tattoo. It's not exactly the same as the one Voya got, gets in the book, but they're similar in that they both have something to do with the sorrel flower. Um, so if you're not familiar with it, it's like, <laughs> it's a flower. Um, but when you dry it or even use it fresh, really, um, in like the Caribbean, you boil it and you add like spices and like sugar and herbs and things like that and you make it into a drink so usually like cloves and allspice that's what I mean by herbs not like Italian seasoning or anything I mean like allspice and cloves um and cinnamon and you add that to it and you make a drink and like my family usually we drink it around holiday time my grandpa would make a bunch of it for all of us I actually have a video <laughs> that I made last year about me making a batch of sorrel I will link that down in the description if you want to check that out <laughs> and see how I did with that um and so I got a sorrel flower tattooed on my back it was done by Vegas of Vegas Inc. I will link their information down in the description. She did such an amazing job. Like, I absolutely love it. I think it looks so beautiful and fantastic. So if you're in the Toronto area, they also do travel around sometimes um, to different like tattoo shows, like check out their website for sure and like see what she's got going on. But like, a uh, fantastic artist. Um, I had such a good experience and the tattoo is beautiful. I will put, I probably have already popped up a photo over here of what the tattoo looks like. I won't show it to you on my back now because it is bleeding. And uh, I know we had our little bloodbath experience earlier, but I assume that you don't want to see like actual blood <laughs> and so I won't show it to you. I'll pop in a picture of what the tattoo looks like, you know, healed later on in post-production so you can avoid the whole blood thing. But yeah, um, hurt like a mofo. I won't lie. I've only ever gotten very small, completely black and white line art tattoos. This is my first big color tattoo. Uh, hurt terribly, perhaps the worst pain I've ever felt. <laughs> but, you know, 
it, it looks really nice and I'm really happy about it. So there you go. Um, truly a warrior worthy <laughs> activity in that, you know, she got some ink and now I got some ink. Hers was painless and not at all permanent. Mine was painful and very permanent. <laughs> But, you know, I'm happy about the permanent part. So very excited about that. And so, yeah, that's kind of uh, another activity there of uh, living like my main character. So, uh, yeah, that's what I did. So we'll uh, go ahead to the next activity. Glistening oxtail falling off the bone and smothered in brown sauce. Voya is a foodie. She's very into food and meals and restaurants and also very much into cooking and baking and doing that herself. Um, and she cooks a lot of Trinidadian dishes. And so I really wanted to <laughs> order some Trinidadian food and like get that in here. But, um, I got home too late and Canada is having a bit of a, small crisis in that Rogers, which is like one of our big like cell phone internet companies, um, they've had some issue that has caused them to lose functionality. And so what that has done is it's thrown the whole city into <laughs> kind of a tizzy. So um, essentially, uh, there's not a lot of Uber drivers because anyone that uses Rogers, their phone isn't working, so they can't drive. Um, and so <laughs> There's not a lot of delivery drivers available. Um, so that's a big thing. So there's not enough drivers. So like wherever you order from, there aren't enough drivers. And I don't have a car here, so I can't pick up. Um, yeah, and it's already later also. So it's later at night. So that has also affected things. Um, so I have made a compromise <laughs> and I've ordered Vietnamese food. <laughs> With the feeling and the understanding and the passion that Voya is generally a foodie and would love and enjoy all different kinds of foods, even though all I personally can have access to right now is this food instead of a Trinidadian meal, which, you know, a little bit sad, but, you know, we're trying to do this in 24 hours and that means I don't have time to try again tomorrow. So it is what it is, you know, uh, much like Voya's life, things are unpredictable. Things are unpredictable. So isn't that more so... Um, in line with my character, things are unpredictable and things don't always go your way. You know, um, things that you think that maybe would happen for you, maybe don't happen for you. Um, so is that not part of it? I, I'm going to, I'm going to say that. I'm going to say that. So anyway, I'm going to get being wee food. <laughs> My gaze immediately snaps away from the tree to look back at him. I swallow the tide of saliva sitting in my mouth. If you're thinking, wow, Lavelle, weren't you previously in front of a frog painting? Um, this is another frog painting. My mom has a lot of these. <laughs> So here I am again. So uh, for the next uh, living like my main character activity. So, uh, you know, there's a moment in the book um, given, you know, the romantic nature of some things and, you know, having to fall in love that having to kill your first love bit is another bit. But, you know, the having to fall in love bit, there is a moment where it's like, you know, they might kiss. They might kiss. So in honor of this, <laughs> um, I have decided to watch a romantic movie um, because that just seems in the spirit of it. I am going to watch uh, The Lost the Lost City, The Lost Kingdom. 
that Sandra Bullock one with Channing Tatum because I've been meaning to watch it and my partner doesn't want to watch it and he's not here right now and so I may as well watch it now that I have this opportunity and it will have the romance and so you know it'll speak to that bit of romance in uh, Voya's life that happens there you know with the looming presence of having to kill the boy you fall in love with but you still have to fall in love so you know that's that's a big part of it All I've ever wanted is to help my family. And here we are at the final activity for this living like my main character video. So at the end of Blood Like Magic, again, no spoilers, so don't worry, but Voya ends up in a kind of bittersweet situation. Not everything works out, but some things work out. And this is why we have a sequel. <laughs> this is why Blood Like Fate exists, which is out today, if you didn't remember. <laughs> so in order to honor Voya's bittersweet feelings, I have decided to do a bittersweet taste test. So I've gotten these sour candies that, you know, start off sour and uh, become sweet, apparently, become sweet after the sour. And uh, I'm gonna taste test them. I have discovered something. So when I opened the toxic waste candy to like see what it looked like and take it out, I discovered that it has the exact same flavors as the Warheads. It is also individually wrapped. It has like basically the exact same coloring. And I'm starting to think that there is a conspiracy and the Toxic Waste candy and the Warhead candy are exactly the same. So <laughs> what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try the big double bubble candy first. And then I'm gonna try the Warhead and the Toxic Waste candies at the same time because I'm high key convinced they are exactly the same. Um, and I want to taste test and see how they taste the same, if they taste the same. So anyway, this has become partially living like my main character and partially exposing warheads and toxic, toxic waste candy for being the exact same candy. But anyway, I digress. Here we go with the, uh, this is the double bubble crybaby. It's called extra sour. So love that for me. Love that for me. Thanks. I, I want to say thanks, Moria, but really it's my fault. So I'm clearly, clearly just trying to avoid this. But anyway, as if this wasn't my own video, as if I didn't decide to do this. But anyway, here we go. Hmm. <sighs> oh my God. So I'm establishing a scale. So the scale is like for sourness is like a level one is like, you know, I'm a regular teenage witch and my life is like fine. And like five is like, I was told I had to kill my first love or my family would lose their magic forever. And in terms of like, you know, sourness of the situation. Um, I feel like that one was like a four. It started out like a two. It really did start out like a two. Like, I don't know, things aren't so bad. Um, but then it really progressed to a four and now my tongue hurts. So now we are going head to head with the warheads and the toxic waste candy. Um, so let's start with, uh, since they have the same flavors, again, conspiracy. So let's start with the, uh, the blue raspberries. There they are, both of them. 
Okay. Uh, sure, let's try the talk. Like, let's try the warheads because I'm familiar with the warheads. Oh my god, so sticky. Terrible. Okay. Oh. <laughs> so, okay, the blue raspberry warhead. Here we go. It was pretty sour. It was pretty sour. It burns in the spot on my tongue where I already had the sour double bubble, so that's awesome. I mean, the flavor is all right. It's not really a nice blue raspberry. It's a little bit unpleasant, to be honest. It's a little bit unpleasant. I don't know why that tasted so bad. My God. Okay, here's the toxic waste candy. I'm gonna go ahead and give it to the toxic waste candy. I know I said what, these are basically the same, but the toxic waste candy looks way better. It wasn't stuck to its packaging and it's just, it's a more appealing color. The other one was a darker blue. So let's see, but it's also not covered in citric acid, which the other one was, so. I'd like to make a formal apology to the toxic waste candy. Uh, it is not the same as a warhead, not at all. Nowhere near, not the same at all. Uh, incredibly sour, noticeably the most sour out of everything I tried. Um, but also has a more pleasant, sweet taste after. Um, certainly five. I would say five on the sourness scale. Certainly felt like I was overcome with the pain of feeling betrayed by my ancestors. Um, also cursed, um, also upset, um, isolated and racked with uh, the dread of, oh my gosh, is this going to continue? Um, that was definitely like, the five star level sour. Warhead and the double bubble were both a level four. Um, but the Warhead leveled the, the lowest ranked in terms of flavor. Uh, double bubble too sweet at the end, but the toxic waste just right, just right when you get to the sweetness, but uh, definitely the most sour level five, 100%. I'm sorry if you wanted to see me taste test all the sour candies. You know, it's a bittersweet ending for you too. In that case, um, the sours that you don't get to see me try all those candies because my God, my tongue already hurts. And really, I feel like I was sent to another plane of existence with that last toxic waste candy. I cannot, I could never. <laughs> Um, but, uh, the sweet part is, you know, I, hopefully this was a fun video for you to watch and you enjoyed it. Um, if you haven't read Blood Like Magic yet, I will have links in the description. Um, there's a the hardcover, there's the paperback, uh, and in September there will be a Blood Like Magic hardcover box set that will release that will have both books in it. As I said before, Blood Like Fate came out today. That's a sequel to Blood Like Magic. So if you have read Blood Like Magic, I will also link in the description. Hopefully you had a fun time watching this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. And thank you so much for watching. Bye. <laughs>